Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back into the channel. I get asked all the time how to identify items on eBay that will sell quickly. And since we're in a new year, I figured I'm gonna show you guys 15 items I have up on my screen, I'll take you over there, that actually sell quickly. I would rather have 150, 200 good items that we're gonna move that will sell two, three, four a day than 1,000 or 1,500 items that are still gonna sell two or three a day. Less work, obviously, to get that many up, but also your sell-through rate's gonna be much, much better, and eBay rewards better sell-through rates on stores where it kind of snowballs, and as you sell more, your store gets more attention, which means you sell more, and it gets more attention, and you sell more, and on and on and on. So let's go over the 15 items that I put here that you can find at any thrift store, at any garage sale, yard sale, when the springtime comes around for a lot of you, and these items will actually sell, not just putting up plain black Nike polos because Nike's a good brand and you wanna sell good brands, you gotta have actual items that people will notice and people will want. Let's go over there, let's check it out, and hopefully this list will help you improve your overall store and your sell-through rate. Okay, the first one is obvious. It's video video games and video game systems. I've sold these my entire reselling career. You find them at almost every single garage sale, yard sale. They're in every thrift store. You have to know what to look for. You have to scan them, find out their current prices, but you will see them anywhere and everywhere, and they sell. They move. If you go and list a video game up, you will start getting offers. You will sell, sell them as quickly as you can put them up as long as you buy the good ones that are actually worth some money. They aren't gonna just sit. You aren't gonna list 100 pieces of clothes and, and watch and wait for them to sell. You're not gonna list 100 video games and you're just gonna sit around and wait for sales. They are going to sell. You're going to see stuff start moving day after day. I hate seeing people who say they have like 1,000, 1,500 listings and there's nothing moving. If you have 1,000 or 1,500 video games, there is zero chance you are going to sell zero items in a day unless you just completely have garbage listings or garbage video games, trust me, you will sell 10, 15 a day. So video games, Nintendo, Sony, PlayStation, Sega, vintage, newer, it doesn't matter. Look them all up and you guys will also see that you can bring a good average sale price to the table when you're selling consoles for $100, $150. You're selling video games for $35. You're not going to have a $15, $20 average sale price. You're going to have a $30, $40 average sale price, which is where we try to be. Number two is remote controls, my favorite. People always ask though, oh, do all remote controls sell? There's also um, four types that you always look for. Bose, Kenwood, Pioneer, and Onkyo, which I'll show you the Onkyo right here because some people don't know how to spell it. Some people call it Onkyo, I think it's Onkyo is what it's pronounced as. These Onkyo remotes generally sell in those 20 to $30. If you get genuine, these are all Chinese, so if you just go down here and search US only, you'll get genuinely a better mix of some of these um, higher end remotes. 30s, 28s, 40s, 20s, a lot of these average right around in that 20 to $25 range. So those four brands, anything with an audio CD receiver, not only do they sell pretty good in the 20s and 30s, they sell fast. I never can keep on Kyo or Pioneer or Kenwood in stock. Bose never stays long. Um, you'll see that I list three or four of them and a couple sell in a couple days. So this is one of those get your sell through rates up. We want to constantly be moving inventory. Number three is it's clothing and it's tropical, bright, sunshiny, unique, different clothes. I wear Robert Graham shirts. They're flashy, they're bright, they've got jewels and gemstones and things going on. That's why they sell fast, they stand out. If we scroll down in like a men's Hawaiian shirt looking thing, we can see these ones that just pop out at your face. If you've got clothing that just have something that pops, you'll give yourself a better chance to sell it than just a plain blue button down shirt, right? That's why if we go look at something like, um, if we do like a men's margarita, or we could do like a men's, here's one, a men's Tommy Bahama shirt, but we don't want just the normal, even floral. Florals are great and they'll sell, that's fantastic. We want ones that have like graphics on the back. There was one just a second ago, but it wasn't that great. So generally what I'll do to give you the example is I'll come over here and search for the highest first. See the graphics, see how they're big and bright and just crazy if we go to pre-owned. We can see you know, how these ones that have different graphics, there's something that stands out. These ones have parrots on them. This one has 
a Mickey Mantle, something that just grabs your attention, right? Don't just look for those plain shirts. If you change your mindset, and that's fine if you buy those bread and butters, that's great, keep your inventory up. But if you change your mindset when you go into a garage sale or a yard sale or a thrift store and you're looking for things that pop out at you in the aisles, you'll have a better chance of getting better items. Do you guys agree with that? Do you think thrift stores and things like that, like if you see those bright stuff, do you, do you normally like gravitate to that? I, I do. Shoes, Nike and Adidas shoes, they are always being looked for. People just constantly searching for Nike and Adidas shoes. If you can get them at a good price, obviously price check them, comp them here on eBay, but they are items that have a good sell-through rate. There are other brands that do well, Rothy's and and you know Birkenstock and things like that, but Nike's and Adidas are just that great brand. People are always looking for them. If you put them up, you are start uh, you will start getting offers and you'll start getting attention right away. Number five is cowboy boots, cowgirl boots. Boots just do well in general. This is to add on to the shoe thing. Anytime I put up cowboy boots, regardless if they're a $50, $60 pair or if they're a $120 pair, they get attention, they get offers, they get likes, they get people watching them, they get sales quickly, not in a month or two months, in a day or two or a week. This is what we're trying to change our mindset for 2024 is not just having a lot of items, not just having priced items, you know, correctly, having items that sell. We are resellers, not storage people or hoarders. And I think a lot of people mess that up where people just have these racks and racks and racks of inventory, but nothing's actually selling. So put that, put that in your, you know, your mind bank there, store it away. So number six is laptops, MacBooks especially. Look, I looked up four-year-old MacBooks just for you guys, used ones. They're still $600, $700. But the two keys, you might be able to find this. You know, you may have to pay up. Somebody might say, hey, yeah, I want $350, $400 bucks for this. Okay, I'm going to sell for $630. It's probably going to cost you about $80 bucks in fees. So this is $550. You're going to ship it with signature and, and tracking and all that and insurance probably. Maybe you net around like $535 on it. But if somebody wants $400 bucks and you can make $135, on it, pay up. That's another mindset. Start thinking bigger than just, I'm going to buy a $5 item and sell it for 25 or 30 bucks. I'm going to buy a $50 item and I'm going to sell for 130 or $150. That's another way to make a lot of money and move it. But laptops, especially MacBooks, anything Apple, they just go list 10 MacBooks right now. I hear people that are like, oh, I list 10 items a day, all day long, every day, 30 days in a month, and I, I sold a couple items. Go list 10 MacBooks right now and watch what happens. You'll sell five of them before I'm done this video. Check me on that. Same story with iPads, just rinse and repeat as you do with MacBooks. Again, if you're gonna buy iPads and tablets, make sure you know how to clear them, make sure you know about iCloud lock. Don't just go half cock trying to buy them and then yell at me because Rockstar told you to buy iPads and you accidentally bought an Apple uh, iCloud locked one and you can't sell it or a stolen one. Make sure you do your research, you know how to do it, but they sell that quick. Before this video is over, you can sell one. Third one, same with iPhones. Now, I'm gonna show you guys an old iPhone, this is an iPhone X. Again, you must know about iCloud and all of that. This is a $100, $125, $150 phone. This thing is five years old. We're on iPhone 15. It's probably coming up to iPhone 16 soon. And it's still fetching in the mid-hundreds up to 200 right? You could find this from somebody on Facebook Marketplace that just wants $50, $60, $70 for it. Bam. If they want $80 for it and you think you can get $175, do it. It's profits, guys. And they sell this fast. Blackberries, an old phone. This is same on the cell phone. I'll keep it in the same number, but it doesn't have to be the latest, greatest Samsung or iPhone that you're reselling. You could sell these Blackberries. You could sell the touchscreen, QWERTY keyboard phones. You could sell a lot of different ones. Old iPhones, old Androids, old, look at this. They're selling a lot lot of old four Blackberries. They got $21 for it, but this might be somebody at a garage sale that wants five bucks, right? Who knows? Next is power tools and specialty meters. I see these at pawn shops and thrift stores all the time, and I see them in a lot of garage sales when I used to go. These are $140, $150 items. Some of them can be down in the 90s, but you look up the right meter, $373, $112. I mean, you know, this first one, a $325 for $163, $164. Look these up. Power tools are crazy and people are always looking for a deal on power tools. They sell, I mean, literally whenever I would list these fluke meters, they would have offers day one. You will wake up to offers. You will never wait around for these to sell. And if you price them correctly, they'll sell right away. Legos, always getting attention. Hundreds of thousands of sold listings, no matter what the Lego is. If it's a legitimate, authentic Lego and you list it on eBay, you will start getting questions, messages, offers. Uh, sales, just straight up sales, best offers, you name it, watchers, you will get them for anything authentic Lego. They just sell faster. 
watches. I used to sell watches, a lot, a lot of watches way back in the day when I did pawn shops. Pawn shops were full of watches that were like retail, say a $500 retail watch. Somebody would bring it in and the pawn shop would give them like literally 50, 60 bucks for it on pawn. They wouldn't come get it and the pawn shop would put it out for like 150, 200, trying to double their money, right? Triple their money. I would come in and I'd be like, hey, look, you paid 50, 60 bucks for it. I'll give you $125 because I knew retail it was 500. I could flip it for 250, 275. I could give the pawn shop one, 120 and get away with them doubling their money and I got to double my money. And it doesn't have to be a $5,000 Rolex. Here's a perfect example, this Movado Museum 35 millimeter. This is a stainless steel watch. It's 150 bucks sold. If you could pick that up at a, you know, somebody selling it out at a garage sale or somebody on Facebook Marketplace who wants 50 bucks or 75 bucks for the watch, bam, you've now, you know, bought a $60 watch, sell for 150, fees are 25, that's 125 shipping. You probably get like 110, 115 on that. So you could pay 50, 60 dollars and make yourself a 50 dollar profit. Think about all the shirts you would have to sell at 10 and 15 dollar profits to match that. Five shirts might take weeks to sell that much. This watch, it's going to sell very, very fast. Next, we have um, Disney anything. Obviously, if you see something that's Disney, look it up. Try to buy it. People search for Disney, millions of searches for Disney every day. If you have something that's listed that's not clothing, clothing Disney sells fine. Sell it. I'm okay with that. But if you have something that is not clothing and it is the word Disney, uh, Mouseketeer ears, for almost $40. I mean, collectible pens, collectible cards, a popcorn bucket, uh, a watch, $45. We're just talking about watches. A backpack from the Disney Cruise, $51.75. Here's a, a backpack, purse, retired, $154. Uh, I mean, another watch for $37. Anything Disney. Clothing, yes, but anything not clothing, absolutely. Next, we have hats. Vintage hats, snapback hats, trucker hats, unique hats, sports hats, collectibles, you name it. These things are super popular and hot right now. Uh, I listed those 25 hats you guys saw me buy a couple months ago. We sold five of them in the first week. We sold 10 of them in the first uh, like three weeks. And I believe out of the 25 I've had for three months, um, I think I bought them in October, November. Um, I believe we have like eight or nine of them left. So I sold what, like 15 of them, 16 of them. Uh, you know, so that's what, five a month. That's not bad. That's one a week. I'll take it for, for hats one a week. I mean, it's perfect. Probably could have priced them a little better and probably sold two a week. Probably been out of them by now, but I'm okay with that. Cause I priced them fair. I didn't take a lot of best offers. They sold at full price. Most of them. And the best offers I got were only a couple dollars less. They can also come in, you know, like 85, you know, there's some cheaper ones at 12, but most of mine were averaging 15 to 20. They were like this, you know, 21, 36, you know, 25, they sell. They're quick and you won't sit on them too long. If you want a niche to sell in that's good, hats are a really good one. If you can stock yourself up a few hundred hats, you could sell four or five a day, three a day, four a day. At 20 bucks a pop, you could be doing 80 to 100 bucks a day in just hats. That's $3,000 a month if you do 100 a day. Last time my math worked. All right, next is camera gear, camera equipment. I have a fiance that's a photographer. She sells cameras when she buys them, gets new ones, resells them, the lenses, the accessories. This stuff is expensive, trust me. We have purchased it retail. We have purchased it used off of Facebook Marketplace. We have purchased it from camera shops, you name it. It's not cheap and people come on eBay and buy it. Anything Canon, anything Nikon, they sell like crazy. Even these old vintage, look, PowerShot A10 6X zoom point and shoot camera. This thing's as old as dirt. This thing's probably circa 2000, right? This thing sold for uh, $33 all in, right? $33. This could have been at a yard sale for two bucks, three bucks. Here's one that's a PowerShot SX230. This thing's still like 10, 12 years old. Sold for $142 all in. You never know what these cameras are worth. Just because they look old, they look like they're from your childhood in the 90s or in the early 2000s as a teenager, something we would have took you know, as a teenager to the fair or whatever, they could still be worth 100 bucks. $97, look at this Canon SX260. I owned one of those actually, it's a 20X, I remember that one. In fact, I have some of my old cameras. <laughs> I might have them right here, in fact. I used to keep a couple of them laying around. Let's check and see, hold on. Yeah, I've got one of my G7Xs, bang, bang, bang. This thing probably still sells for $100. Has the original wind stream I used to sell and, and record on this. It's got the flip up screen. This thing's great, right? Cause you can, doop, doop. you can selfie mode yourself and you can see it. It's a great camera. These things sell fantastically well. Also, these handy cams that have the flip out. They were the first rotating selfie screen. You could see what you're recording. You could do it up and down. It's great. These things still sell for 50 to 100 bucks. I keep them around as super backup cameras. I just love them. They're part of my YouTube career and part of my you know recording past. So I keep them. But cameras, fantastic item to sell. 
lenses, anything, and you see them at a lot of garage sales, a lot of yard sales, and thrift stores see it as a as an old item, so they're like, oh, it's just an old-time camera, here's $19.99, 20 bucks. Other people are like, oh, I'm not paying $20, $25 for an old-time 20-year-old camera, but you, you being the educated reseller that you are, know that that's $109 camera, and you're happy to pay 25 bucks, because you're going to sell it, and you're going to make like $50, $60 on it. The last one is musical instruments. Admittedly, this is one I've probably only sold a couple times in my entire life. Uh, Trumpets, trombones, flutes, uh, clarinets, things like that. Guitars, if you know a little bit about guitars. But something as simple as like a flute, and this is like a Yamaha YFL31 flute, 180 bucks. Another, uh, this is like a more vintage style, Gemin Hard, uh, the 2SP flute with a hard case, sold for 109 almost $110. So if you happen to see it, you know, somebody selling their child's flute or their clarinet because they played in the band and now they've gone off to college and they don't play an instrument anymore and they want 25, 30, 50 bucks out of the yard sale, you know, maybe they want 75 bucks and you know that it's worth 180 because you looked it up. Bam, you buy it, that's 105, less fees, less shipping, you make yourself $60. Musical instruments sell well. Believe it or not, they have a really high sell-through rate on eBay. Feel free to check me on that. And it's one I would definitely add it to your regiment of um, items that you want to be on the lookout for, bolos. And uh, it just will move fast. You won't see them sit in your, in your store that long. And it can be on your list here of these 15 items. All right, that wraps up 15 of the fastest moving items on eBay. Make sure you look for these items anywhere you go. You can start niching into them, searching social media, searching Facebook for them as well, but they will bring up your store's sell-through rate. If you have a mix of all the items I just showed you and that's what your store is made up of, your sell-through rate will be drastically higher than the people you see on Facebook groups that are selling like one a day, two a day, three a day. It's great to have quantity and you need to build your store up with your quantity, but you also have to have quality or it doesn't matter. You can have 10,000 paper clips. If they're not selling, who cares? I'd rather have 100 video games that are selling 10 a day. Hopefully that rings true in your brain. You understand what I'm talking about. And if you'd like to add anything to this conversation, the comment section below is the place to do it. If you'd like to add some suggestions, some other items, what you've had luck with, what you haven't had luck with, or other tips and strategies that other people can read, that would be awesome of you as well. And speaking of building your store up, regardless of your quality or your quantity, Pro Ecommerce Lister, which is my listing service, will do it for you. We make all of your listings from just your photos. Photograph your item, send it into my website or my mobile app. You can do it from your phone or computer and we'll do all the listings for you. Credits never expire. You buy up your credit packages and you use them at any time you want as quickly or slowly as you wish. Check out the website below, proecommercelister.com and thank you so much for watching the video. Hit the thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel for future videos. I'll bring you bolos and more list of items to sell all month and all year long. Have a wonderful evening, everybody, and I will see you next time.